Hi, guys. Um, I think it was Zane in the movie who said something like, yeah, I'm in a boy band, but I'm in a cool boy band. Uh, I was wondering if you guys, uh, the other two, accept the boy band label or consider yourselves a different kind of group? Well, I, I, I don't think there's anything we, we need to hide from. I don't think it's that sort of thing. We're just kind of taking our own kind of road with it sort of thing and, and you know that's like the kind of the way that our music is the way that we act the way that we don't dance and it's not it's not all regimented as it were it's kind of a bit more freestyle and like I've like I, like I said in the movie that you know I've not really been a fan of boy bands before how now. dare you but you know that's the thing we, we didn't really follow the boy band stereotype so you know I was not trying to like say I hate boy bands but not us <laughs> hi guys I'm here this movie hey. does a very good job. Um, it has a very good emotional core to it because we don't just see your fans reacting and crying, we see your family. So what was that like for you, especially Zane, that particularly poignant moment when you buy uh, your mother a house? Um, yeah, no, it was, it was amazing, obviously, to, to see that. And it's, it's amazing that we have that you know, on footage and especially that scene for me when you know when I do get a house for my mum that I have that piece of footage on tape for the next 10 15 years and and that's something that I'll keep you know quite close so it's cool um for me it's quite it was quite hard to watch the bit where my dad says about like wanting to take me to the pub and play snook and stuff and then he has that little dramatic pause and obviously with the music in the background I can't help but cry every time I was in the cinema and like I had my, the glasses on and whatever and I was trying to hide it but you could just see it happening so I don't know it's but bless him yeah, and for me, my mum uh, actually says that I've I've been back to Doncaster five times, which I didn't realise that it was as little as that. But um, yeah, it's quite it's quite shocking to see, but it's also it's also nice to see uh, you know to hear all of our family's thoughts and yeah. uh, and and how similar they all are is is pretty interesting, I think. Hi, uh, Carl Falk told me that you guys, when you were in Stockholm recording um, "Take Me Home," you had this room where you got to write songs and. I know that Nell mentioned in the movie that this is the hardest, the third album is the hardest you've done so far. Can you tell us a little bit about how you, you've been writing songs for the third album now that you've been on tour? And also, what's your, um, what would you say is your favorite way to write songs? Um, I would actually, to be honest with you, I don't think so much as far as the songwriting, it was the, h the hardest it's been so far. I think in terms of the way that we recorded it being on the road and it being quite a rush, that was the hard part. But to be fair, um, the writing songs just seem to come quite, Easy in the end, not in an arrogant way, but it just seemed to happen like naturally when we were in the I room. The songs just kind of came together, which was good for us because we didn't have a lot of time. Yeah, I think we've been lucky. Then the people that have you know agreed to write with us have been obviously had loads of experience and like crazy talented. So it's been great to be in the room with these people and then like learn from them and you know and and, and try and get better. And I feel like we kind of progressed a little bit and we're and we're proud of uh, of this album for sure. It's exciting. It's just I think. I think the yeah, yeah, it's just all the more relaxed the vibe is, the better it is. So mm -hmm. like yeah, it's just the more chilled out is if there's a barbecue going and there's a guitar and somebody singing, yeah, it's, it's that's a good vibe for yeah. us. Um hi, I'm Nairi. Hi. hi. Um my question is you guys have a crazy fan base. They really love you. Has the fan ever done anything that has frightened you or made you really scared? Um mm. No, I don't, I, I don't think so, so much. I was a bit surprised of the week when I was sat down having dinner, right? And this girl just appeared behind me, like, shaking and crying. And I was, she was just, like, right over my chair, which for me was a bit like, oh, hello. But um, no, I don't think there's never really any, any scares. The only time we really get scared is, like, say, if there's a big crowd and there's people surging forward, you can see a little girl at the front who's getting, like, squashed or something like that. For us, is, it, is more the scary thing, because obviously you don't want anyone to get hurt and stuff. And it, you know, you know, it, we instantly feel the guilt of it. If if we're at the front of that queue and there's people pushing forward, so I don't know. That's that's the scary part of it. More their safety. Yeah. <laughs> Lot to say there. Yeah. Um, this is for Zane. I know you said it's too early. You haven't done much planning, but with four best friends like brothers, how will you ever pick a best man? Um, we've decided that um, is it a fight to the death? Fight to death or rock paper scissors? Yeah, I think fight to the death. Should yeah. the fight to death, there's going to be no one left there's except for the best man. Or, so or a fencing. It's going to be a whole new yeah. boy band. Fencing tournament. Yeah, or maybe squash. Yeah. yeah. Are you okay bruises during your wedding? Um, You'll have to if, be. If, yeah, it's if they want to rock that, then that's cool. Yeah. It's going to be like the hangover too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Guys, thank you. That's thank you. It. Thanks. Well
um, stop working for Sin Physical. And, and yeah, whatever the word is, yeah. <laughs>